Hey everybody, in this video we're going to use Blender and I'm going to show you just the basic settings for when you actually want to render the animation of your camera or your model and you want to get a video file out of it that you can then work with in a video editing program. So here we go. I've already made an animation here with my camera. You can see here it's just going to look at that pyramid thing, move by. Uh, first thing, you can always check view camera just to see what your camera's seen move through the timeline make sure everything is perfect right and you like what you're seeing there okay and I'm happy with it that looks good okay so we'll go on to the next step and the next step is basically doing some render settings here so here's what you do I'm gonna go from frame one and I want to render up to frame I think I've gone up to frame 200 up here okay so to frame 200 so you got to remember which frames that you want. You can pick any frames you want. And then you just go to the camera window. So you basically make sure your camera is selected. Okay, right click. If you have more than one camera, you also just have to make sure that this is set as the active camera. Go view, camera, set active. That's the camera, yeah, that I'm going to be using for rendering. Now the settings. Camera. Start frame, 1. I like that. End frame, 200. Name any frames you want, right? But yeah, I'm going to go all the way to 200. Frame step, 1. Go one frame at a time. Frame rate. Now, depending what video program you're using, you could use different frame rates. But for my class, I always tell them, keep it simple here, 30 frames a second. Makes the math very easy. Uh, it's a decent number of frames per second that your video will look okay. Keep scrolling down. Output folder. This is important. Click the Browse button here. And by the way, if this is collapsed, just click it to expand it. Hit the File Browser. Choose a spot. I'm going to choose the Desktop. And I'm just going to call it Test. Accept. Okay, so now it knows where the file is going to be saved. Keep scrolling down. Set the file type. Now you'll notice by default, I think it's a ping file. This is actually going to generate 200 individual images, one image for each frame. I don't want that in this case. Okay, advanced animation people, yeah, they like to work with individual frames. We're just going to make a compressed video here. Uh, you can use really any type. I know on our computers at our school that Movie Maker and our other video software works well with H.264. It'll make a decent quality video that's easy to use and the file size is pretty small. So H.264 is the type of video I want. Uh, RGB, color, that's good. And the very last step here in encoding, it's not crucial you change this number, but you'll see here the maximum bit rate, right? It's sort of the number of ones and zeros per second that it's gonna be saving in your video is 9,000. This number right here, I don't know what it is by default in your program. It may be 6,000, it may be 4,000, but you know what? There's no harm if the maximum is 9,000, set it equal to the maximum, okay? And that's really it. Once you've got those settings in, you don't have to do those settings again when you render other videos. The only thing you might have to change is the start frame and the end frame. But now that you've set it up, told it what type of video, where you want it to save, which frames, all you do is you just scroll to the top and you hit animation. And it basically starts animating what the camera would see frame by frame. Now you see it's working hard here. It's going frame by frame. And believe it or not, this is actually pretty fast. It's taking about half a second for each frame. Now this is a very simple model. No reflections, uh, minimal shadows, no weird uh, objects with thousands and thousands of faces and vertices. Um, so this goes really quick. Your model literally might take a minute, two minutes, 30 seconds for each frame. Now, if you have 200 frames you're doing, or you have 500 frames, that's going to take a long time, and that's totally expected. A lot of students will just get this rendering, go have dinner, or they'll get it going before bed, and if it's a really long sequence with complicated models, then they'll just grab it in the morning. And, you know, that's just the way life is. And so... Give it a go. Do a little sample render just with a little basic cube, right? Something quick. So it does this so you can test it. And you should be good. 
Now this is almost finished, so I'll wait it out here. And then I'll go to my desktop, and I'll check out the video, and hopefully it records properly. There we go. Okay, so it just went through the whole thing. Let's go to the desktop. Oh, and there's my file. Test. And it tells you the frame numbers you did. Frame 1 to 200. I'll double click. And you get a nice little video clip of your model. Now, of course, the idea is you just don't get one clip. You get a whole bunch of different clips. Look at that. That's pretty good. And that was a very small file. Right? So that's nice. So... Try this out with your model, see how it works, uh, just use those settings, and uh, good luck with that. We look forward to seeing your videos.